What is up everyone, JD here. Hope you're doing well today. Got a review for you, let's get into it. Okay guys, we have a knife from a maker that we've seen quite a few of from here lately. We're gonna be taking a look at a brand new knife from Tuya and that is going to be the Tuya Hellfire. So what we're going to do today is we're going to do some size comparison, profile, weight, and then we'll jump into thoughts and impressions. Let's kick it off with a couple of budget knife comparisons. Here it is against the Migron Moriarl and the Civivi Amorite. So you can see this is definitely a beefy guy, but he's not particularly large. He's actually coming in very comparable to the Moriarl down here on the bottom of the screen. So let me go ahead and move the Amorite out of the way. And we'll grab the Spider Coast Shaman, which will also represent your PM2 and your Rat 1. You can see the Shaman does have more length on it, but not nearly as girthy. We'll keep that Moyarl for the profile comparisons here in just a moment. And then here it is against your Spider Co Para 3 Lightweight. What I'll do for the profile comparison, I'm going to use the Moyarl and the Shaman so we can get the medium and the large size knife out here for this comparison. The thickness on here with those contoured scales still coming in just a little bit thinner than it is on the Moyarl. So a little bit thinner for this one. And then let's go ahead and get the Shaman. And the Shaman coming in about that same thickness as the Hellfire. And then let's take a look at these in-pocket carry. It's going to be very interesting. Fold it up. Not going to go very deep into the pocket, but you can see this is going to take up a lot more space than the other two that are here on the table. Yeah, I do need to readjust this here. I just realized I'm a little low. Okay, and let's get these out of the way and check the weight. Okay, let's check that weight. Coming in at 5.2 ounces, so not terrible, but definitely not a lightweight carry. And I would think that the profile would probably make that pretty obvious. Let's get that scale out of the way, and we'll kick it down to the garage and do some quick cutting with it. Down in the garage with the Hellfire. This thing, it is a big old cleaver, but it is just a three-finger grip for me. I have nothing to grab onto onto the back. Pocket clip feels comfortable, though, but let's check out the edge the factory edge on the hellfire i'm going to run it through oops as it bites into the paper i am going to run it through both the compound and the thinner comp compound out on the edge and it seems like it's a very nice factory edge everything that i see coming from tuya seems really well done let me bump it up here i am looking like i'm a little low on the camera when I'm doing that cutting. Hopefully I didn't miss any of that. And uh, same thing here, we're just gonna do underneath the fold. We're gonna go out on the tip. Very thin and slicey, guys, very thin and slicey. Just a couple passes out on the tip, and then we'll go through the thicker part and see if it's noticeable. Yeah, you can feel a little bit more drag, but it's still fairly slicey. Sorry, my cardboard has been sitting out here. Uh, for a little while and I did run it through some tape as you may be able to see right there So let me wipe it down trying to make sure there's no adhesive left on that edge Because I don't want that to be what it gets hung up on and uh, we'll do the same thing here Out on the edge and just test it. Yep yeah, feels good. Good bite Yep, yeah, really good bite guys I know it's not a super, super high edge retention test because these are pass around knives. So it does limit my, and that thicker geometry is playing a little bit of a factor here, but it does limit my ability to really test these to an extent to where, you know, I can do a lot of cutting with it to really give good feedback on anything around that. All right, back from the garage, you can see this knife is actually very thin and slicey. It's got a very nice, tall, flat ground, com compound ground. So you do have a little bit more thickness back here for a little bit more durability and then a little bit more precise and thinner out on the edge. So you do have a very interesting compound grind, very nice finish to it. 
big fuller on there and again it is pretty slicey it reminds me a lot of a sheepdog as far as the sliciness of it as far as the ergos are concerned it is only a three finger knife for me i do hang off the back quite a bit so not quite four fingers not the best ergonomics for me but it is comfortable for the three fingers that i can get on there i do feel the pocket clips edge a little bit there it's not really stabbing so much into the palm more so than it is just kind of pushing a little bit creating a little bit of pressure but it's fairly comfortable the jumping lands in a good spot here especially for that detailed work out on the tips and then very easy to choke up on and you got plenty of space here for the thicker part of the grind for those tougher cuts a little bit more power behind it you are coming in locked up at about 30 percent a little tight for that lock bar access and also with the bigger fingers I do end up kind of landing here in no man's land as far as trying to get it to drop to close it hits on the back of the fingernail so I can't quite get past the detent ball unless I come way down here and then now I'm getting hit by the very edge of the flipper tab but I am past the detent ball very nice action the filler the filler <laughs> the fuller is very functional the flipper tab is a little low here and the detent feels a little light so it feels like it could be failed yeah it almost doesn't make it open and locked out yeah so if i try to fail it i can but the action is very smooth so i feel like even if you did flip it a little light it would have enough momentum with the weight of the blade and the action and the pivot to go all the way out you are looking at ceramic bearings in the pivot i cannot disassemble this one because it is a pass around shout out to lefty thank you kevin we appreciate you letting us have a look at this one. Looks like it is stamped bearings, and it does look like there's ceramic balls in there. So really smooth action. And again, great flipper on here. And surprisingly satisfying to do that reverse flick. And you can thumb flick it. I didn't think you would be able to get down into that fuller. You really got to dig into it, though, to get into it. And I just tried to flick it with my finger on the lock bar so you got to make sure you're in a good spot to do that probably wouldn't recommend thumb flicking it the other thing that's really nice on here is you have these really nice weave carbon fiber inlays that are very well done nicely transitioned and i like the fact that they decided instead of just making it one large one they made it into two sections there you got a three quarter length back spacer on this very thin handle the contouring does help a lot and of course the the thickness the pocket clip i think that went in and out pretty good it's been a minute just give me a second let's do the thick seam first hold on a little hard to keep the tension and draw it in without letting it fall yeah it's fine good retention too and then just a thinner pocket will emulate that yeah it's fine um a little caught up there but nothing awful as far as that relief cut goes i think it'll be fine going in and out of the pocket definitely has really good retention which is nice because with it being a little bit more of a weighty knife i would worry about it coming out of the pocket but seems fine no issues whatsoever um this particular model is coming in at 279 dollars i think it is called the hellfire mini i've been calling it the hellfire let me just double check really quick with the measurements yeah so they're calling it three and a half inches on the blade and that's probably all the way back to this section a uh, little over three inches of cutting edge and coming in at seven 7.6 inches, I guess, if I had to guess. <laughs> I'm not quite sure if that's right. Um, let's check the website and see what the website says about any of the information here. Yeah, three and a half inch S90V blade, uh, but no other details here. No specs or anything like that. So what I'm giving you is all that I'm seeing at the time of this video. So it is a very interesting piece, uh, $280. I would probably again recommend checking out Kunwu. 
I think they're going to be very competitive here. You can look at the Padre if you want something a little bit larger or if you want something a little bit more slender but still want that utility blade shape. You could get the Kunwu S towel. That's going to be really good as well. I know also recently that Blade HQ had the factory variant of this particular knife, which is the Sheepdog Premium with S35VN. It's not hollow ground, it's just a flat grind, but it does have the flipper delete with the opening hole and everything on it already with the titanium frame lock. That one was on sale for 135 so that was a really good deal if you're looking for something kind of sort of in the ballpark uh, but not really there overall it's a very interesting piece i think it's going to be very unique very niche uh, this is going to attract a smaller segment of people i think for this particular design but i can tell you that to you did a very good job with the quality on this one the build is very nice i like s90v a lot it seems to have a very nice edge. Again, I can't do a whole lot of testing because it is a pass around, but I have seen a couple of these knives from Tuya, and this is a skeleton design. Yeah, Jim Skeleton design. I think in my last video that I reviewed of a Jim Skeleton, I said skeleton by mistake. Uh, I didn't even catch it in the edit, which is pretty funny. Kevin let me know it's skeleton. I was like, I know it's skeleton. What did I say? And he was like, you said skeleton. I was like, oh no. <laughs> so pretty funny. Uh, let's take a listen to the sounds. That's the one thing that we didn't do. Uh, with it being a little bit more of a beefier knife, it does have unique sounds to it. So, a little bit more of a solid sound. It does sound crisp on the deployment, but on the closing, it's um, more of a thud than it is kind of clicking into place. And I think that's just, again, the thickness of the blade kind of dampening that a little bit and you know just the handles i guess being a little bit thicker and a little bit taller not 100 percent sure but very cool piece very interesting for sure i would also say i forgot about the corvid the corvid is going to be one that i think would be a good alternative recommendation instead of the sheepdog and you do have both budget and premium variants of those so that'll be a really good one to check out too let me know what you think about this one down in the comments below shout out to everyone that hung till this part of the video it does help the algorithm thanks to everyone out there for leaving a like commenting being subscribed and having those notifications turned on links are down in the description that helps the channel too special thank you to the channel members i appreciate all your support love you guys i hope you have a fantastic week until next time peace